Good morning everybody, I'm in the office, I've got to get some SKU numbers, so they're um, basically their stock identification numbers, it tells me, so for instance, I'm on, going to be on T, so T1 to 23 or 1 to 25 tells me it's in box number T, a box labelled T, I need some TRs, boxes labelled, uh, items labelled TR are trousers, so sometimes trousers will be in a normal box, a normal lettered box, but they may be in a specific dedicated box. Now, I have dedicated boxes for coats, which are not given SKU numbers simply because they're too big to put in plastic wrapping with numbers on. I have one for jumpers, skirts, dresses, and trousers. When I filled the boxes, and it does happen because they can be quite bulky items, then I have to put them into the normal boxes. So a dress may have C7 on it, or it may have DR7 on it. So, so it's D -A so they are J U D R S K and T R, and then mostly what is tops, t-shirts and stuff is A to V U V U V I think W. U, V, W, V, I haven't got W yet. I might have W soon, <laughs> but who knows. So I'm gonna get some of those ready before, uh, and then I'm gonna go and get measure and pack in. Then I'm gonna take it up the shed. We're gonna have a bit of a, a sort out in the shed, try and tidy it up a bit, because um, the weather's quite nice. Once I get it a little bit sorted out, I can do the rest of it inside, so I don't need to worry about it. Um, and then I'm gonna use like condensing down things like boxes of cameras and freeing up boxes for other stuff. I've got some games I want to sort out, so I'm gonna get them. There's a big jigsaw puzzle package of, I think, eight jigsaw puzzles. I was gonna give them to mum's next door neighbor, Mike, because he's a lovely bloke and he's done favors for me, gave me a lot of, of free clothing to sell. So I'm gonna crack on with that now. Right, I have measured all the items that I photographed yesterday. Three are going to go through the wash just to spruce them up a bit because they've got a few marks on them. Just want to see if I can get them off. So they're in the machine. I have no tumble dryer at the moment because the catch broke. So what on, on the door. So I am going to wash them tonight. I've got two airers and I can put them on the airers. Um, I've got to get stuff just done for Jen. Um, stuff left on the radiators. I'll go wherever I can put it. There's space up here. If you don't like it, it's going to have to go in this room. I think, if necessary. However, I'm going to crack on and get five listings up, do my accounts, because it's payout day, and then I'm going to go and tidy the shed, and you'll see me do that, and I'll put everything out before I put these new items away, because it'll be a lot easier when there's stuff out of the shed. Let's crack on. I'm going to tackle this mess. Oh dear, I'm at the shed, yes. Gorgeous day, mind. That's why I'm doing it today. Blue skies, no rain. It's going to take a while, so. I've got a sack to put rubbish in. I know there is going to be some. I know some of it already of what it is. So I am going to start pulling stuff out, putting it in the bin, and hopefully it won't take too long. If I can just get it into some sort of so I can get around, even if there's a, a, a line down the middle of other stuff, that's fine, as long as I can get to the boxes with the stock in. Because at the moment, it's very hard to get to like Q or the ones at the back. So I really will need to get sorted. So let's crack on. I'll show you when I've done a bit. So I've just made myself a cup of tea because it's quite cold. I've sorted out a box and I found one of my cameras in it. I've been looking for this for ages. It's going to resell this one because I've got a, a better one now. Well, one I like better. Um, but it's got some muck on it. I think it must be soy sauce or something. So I'm gonna give it a clean. And, and that's the thing with reselling, it's not all the fun of, of sourcing and listing and, and packing and posting. It's stuff like this, the ha um, what I would, I guess, term this housekeeping. Sorting out stuff in the shed, it gets into a mess. It does, it's going to. You bring stuff in, you dump it. Um, and then you get your, things like accounts. You know, the boring things we don't want to do, but you have to do because you need to tell the tax man. So I've got to do a tax turn uh, before the end of January, which will be pretty easy because it won't take long. Um, next year's might take a bit longer. I hope, because like I said, I was doing my accounts earlier and I was having, I was talking to myself because I always do. And I am literally four pound off making a profit for the tax year. Now I'm making a profit month on month, 
but with a tax year, I am four pound off of it. So if I have a okay month and I don't spend too much, I should end up in January in profit. Now, of course, I've got till April to get into a real profit and then it's a new tax year. So it's fine. It's just a matter of working. I mean, I, if I'd have done it religiously and properly since April, I'd be in a good profit by now. Um, but yeah, I'm just cracking on. So I'm going to, I'm trying to sort out some boxes and, and if I can get rid of some boxes, even better. So I've got a blue box here that I had from the auction house with a load of records in it. The records have been put on the side. They've not been sorted. I haven't done anything with them for months. But they're on the side. They're out the way. They're in the record holders. The box was full of bits and pieces. It is now empty. It's dirty. It needs washing. It's usable for something else. If and when I go and buy something at the auction again, I can take that crate and I can fill it up. I've got another one here which was a, it's actually a recycling bin. I've actually got it full of um, camera bags. I can take that out, put them in another box once I've consent something down. And again, that can be a box that can go and pick stuff up from the auction house. Zed is on the top of the shed. Zed! She pretty girl. Who's mummy's pretty girl? She likes to come out here while I'm out here. So I'm going to have a sip of tea. I'm going to clean that camera up. And I'm going to crack on. Here's my baby. Who's my girl? I know it looks like I am just sitting down, which I am, but I get so curious when I find something that I haven't, that I should have tested and haven't, and I'm wondering why I haven't, and I think, have I tested and it's not working? So for instance, there's this big Fuji Fine Picks camera, S20 Pro. Now, this is a nice bridge digital camera takes compact flash or weird little ones there's one in there I've got a load of compact flash ones that came with a set now I don't know if this works but I've just opened the battery compartment it takes four double A's why haven't I tested it well have I tested it and it doesn't work I don't know so I'm gonna pop some batteries in see if it does it's getting cold I have no idea what the time is and I'm sitting out here looking at all this stuff so some of this I am gonna to put to test properly uh, oh god mm. I am cold it's getting really cold out here I'm drinking my tea um, so I'm just going to put the stuff I want to take back in the house to test on here for now I can test some of it up here because I've got the batteries but it's getting cold and it's going to rain tomorrow and I might not get to do it till tomorrow because I've got to get ready to go to the dentist soon. That one needs to go back up. That is my, that's a roll of my film. It's Tri-X as well. Ooh. My batteries obviously they're all going to go back up. Um, oh right this is my personal Lacquered camera, which I'm going to have to have a look at. This is the one that's doing my head in. It's a lovely camera. It's a Pentax Emi Super. They're absolutely great cameras. But I can't get the battery back off this thing. It's worn down so much that it won't come out. Now, if I can get it open, I've got a spare. In fact, I've got several. Because every time I throw one of these cameras away because they don't work, I mean, I could list them as spares and repairs, but I just can't be doing with the dealing with the returns. I keep the, the bottoms. And I've probably got one that'll fit it, but I've got to get it off first. So I'm going to have a look at, to see if there's anything online about that. Let me put that there for now. Oh, it's a mess. Right, I'm going to crack on because it's getting cold. I really want to get those clothes put away. And very soon I'll actually be able to get to stuff. And which is great because it means I'll be able to put it all in the middle and just go for it a bit at a time. That's my plan. So I'm going to crack on. It's getting really cold out here, so it's nearly one o'clock. I usually finish around one o'clock, but I have to today because I've got to go to the dentist this afternoon to have them start on my crown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting this away, put the clothes away first, and then start putting everything back in. It's a lot more organised. I can get around to all the boxes. I can get to Jennifer's Christmas presents and her birthday presents, which are hidden in here. 
and I found some little things that I can just bloody list. I found I've got a pair of opera glasses. They're not worth much. Compact flashcards I've got. The, ca the camera doesn't work. The, well, the camera works. The lens is, is knackered. It's something to do with the lens. If I can figure it out and get it working, brilliant. And I know, I know it's, it's, it's not the... I thought at first it was the viewing screen. The LCD screen. It's not, normally it's that what goes. It's not because there were pictures on these and they showed up perfectly. However, I take a picture with it and it shows up as all blurry lines. So that tells me there's a fault with the lens. I might have a look at it. I'm not going to waste my time. It's not going to be worth anything. But I can still keep it to check compact flashcards with. Because they're probably worth about 15 quid. There's a 2 gig, there's a 1 gig, and there's some small ones. I will just put them on 15 quid. No, you know, free shipping. It's not going to cost much to sell. Puffy envelope. If that. Not that I've got any small puffy envelopes, I need really small ones. Put it on 15 quid. Free shipping. I will still put offers on it, because, you know. I found another box of slides. Which is typical. Another slide viewer, because I wanted to keep one, but those two were really nice in their box, so they're up for they're up for sale. However, I've got one here that's not boxed. I don't even know if it works, but I'm going to take it and test it. I got batteries for it, got plenty of batteries, so I'm going to test it. Now I've just got to put all this stuff back and put those clothes away before it starts raining. I don't think it's going to, but there's a big grey cloud sitting over me and it's feeling really nippy. It almost feels like it's going to snow. I know it's not. So, so yeah, I will keep that one um, for t checking compact cards and see if I can figure out what's wrong with the lens. It might be something simple. It might not be. And the other one I've got, I, I don't think I've got a battery charger for it, but I have got a load of stuff that I still need to go through. So those can go in that pile. Even if I don't take them up now, I'll come and get them in the morning because we're trying to keep the house tidy, ready for Christmas. So I'm going to get this lot away and see what's happening. Right, I've done enough. I do want to film at some point this afternoon if I get a chance. My book haul. Because I've still got my complete colour pages to do and my reading wrap up for the month. I don't want to try and do them over the next couple of days. It's freezing, so it doesn't look much better. But it is. Um, so all this stuff down the middle, other than, I don't know what that bottom one is, is oh, that's really odd stuff that's probably you can't get film for, so um, I'll deal with that when I can be bothered. Camera bags, train sets, that box I'm going to sort out tomorrow. Binoculars, I think that's a Super 8 camera, got to see if it works. That's my little thing with lots of bits in to sort out. My wheelie trolley, again I haven't finished sorting it out but it's getting there. It may look like I can't get stuff, but I can. Those bags are empty. They're just, I just chucked them over there to get them out of the way. Tomorrow I'll actually put them inside each other, out of the way. Now here I've got a bin bag, which I'm gonna keep because I haven't finished sorting yet. This is my monopod, but I'm not gonna take it up because I don't want Paul moaning at me that it's up there. I got that box, which I'm gonna wash out, but I, I'll put it back in. This is, um, going to be one of the two boxes I keep for going to auction when I go to pick stuff up. There's auction this weekend for instance. Uh, so I'll put that back in because I'm not going to wash it today. And the one I'm going to empty is the camera bag ones. Now I may be able to just store them in one of the blue Ikea bags because I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm sure I've got six of them. There's three there. Five. Uh, I've got five or six anyway so I'll put the camera bags in one of them for now like I said as I sell cameras I will go and have a look for cases for them I'll pull a case out for the compacts especially I got so many compact cases uh, the battery box needs a bit of work this is stuff I'm going to take I'm not going to take it out with me now I'm going to actually put it in the in that bag to go up and I'll get it in the morning but I'm really hungry, so I want something to eat. So, I've just got to put in the rest of the stuff in the bin bag. And I can go um, and, and have some food. I think there's a, a big bag in the car. Maybe. 
Yeah, I've got six. There's one in the car. Cat's just there. Don't like to go away from me, do you, baby? You've been out here most of the time. And I've got a load of stuff to go to the recycling bin. So I'm going to get that sorted now and have some lunch. Come now from Pink and Jen up. I'm going to actually film my book haul. It might not go up for a couple of days, but I'm going to film it. I've got a load of videos to film, so I'm going to start. Um, I was wrong. My dentist appointment isn't wasn't today. It's Thursday. I'm an idiot. But there you go. Never mind. At least I'm home. Um... Bought a lottery ticket the other week and I actually won £3.60. Whoopee do, that's going to break the bank, isn't it? Still, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do this extremely high, huge book haul. And um, see if i got time to do any other um, filming as well. So I'll see you in a bit. I've just added a load of books to that pile. I've finished uh, filming. And I've pulled two out, I think, to read or three out to read, which is cool. Oh, I'm so naughty for buying so many books, but uh, I have pulled some out. Two out to read, I think. I think. What's that? My living arts. That. Um, seven Street to Liverpool. I'm so focused on Silver Code. Both set in winter. Both set in Christmas. So that's fine. Got one of my own books here that I need to sort out later. Put that away. Uh, I'm just going to leave it in the camera for now. I'll edit it tomorrow. I'm not doing it tonight. It's too late and I've got to do this one at some point. Um, I'll bring my laptop in here and do it when I go to bed. That's what I normally do. Uh, my laptop's in my office. Uh, I'll take that. I've got the library book. It's got to go back. Just that one. Um, I might keep it for now. If I film that tomorrow, then I can use it. Yeah, I'll take it back. Thursday. I've got to go past Thursday, so I'll go to Thursday and do it. I am tired. I'm going to say no to tea. <laughs> oh, dear me. I have some books by the bed I want to read as well. So. Actually, where's my Wizard of Oz book set gone? Huh. It's around somewhere, it's pretty down there somewhere. Because there's obviously the book out because I'm reading it. I've read the first two. I got one that third one looks really thick. Anyway, I'm gonna see what Jennifer's doing. Hey everybody, it's bedtime. Well, Paul's downstairs watching TV, he'll be up in a minute. I've just had a bit of a coughing fit, so I've actually come up to just get some fresh air because the window's open. And a bit of rest. Um, I finally finished my first two colouring pages for December. Like I said, November and December for colouring. Terrible for me. I don't colour very much at all. I'm thinking I might do a TikTok colouring live. Would you come over to TikTok and join me? If I did a live over there? On Andrea Life? That's that's my channel. If so, I'll give you the time. British, um, British time. GMT. Greenwich Mean Time. Um... Just let me know, and I'll, I'll let you know it'll be in the next day or so, if I do. I might just do one anyway, you never know. It might be a laugh. Um, I'm going to do my Welsh lesson in a minute, because I've got to do that. I'm trying to get all my colouring books sorted out. There will be a colouring book haul at the end of the month, because I've got ten books I haven't hauled, and I'll probably get a few for Christmas. And I obviously I had two for Molly. I look so tired. Um, so I'm thinking I, I can haul, just do a colouring book haul. I mean, I might get some stuff for Christmas. I might get some money from Christmas that I can spend on whatever I want. But yeah, I might do. So, <clears throat> I've got a bit of a cough. My throat feels a bit tickly, but it's not tickly. It feels like somebody's wrapped sandpaper down it. <laughs> So I'm going to be coughing for a bit. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to do my Welsh lesson. And then I'm going to read. So, currently, I've just started to try and read this book. I'm only on chapter two. But it was very noisy earlier and I just couldn't concentrate. So I'm going to try and read a little bit of that one. I'm going to read one story out of Enid Blyton. Because I'm reading one every night for myself. It's my treat. And I am slowly working my way through this gorgeous book. I love this photograph um, from uh, House Mary Lear. Uh, 
by uh, Elisa Jordan and I, I am really enjoying it and it's really nice to read so I am going to read a bit more of that as well I also have a book on my Kindle which is here somewhere I just don't know where I've put it it's it's here um, called The Ark Files and I've read a bit of that and it's getting really good so yes I'm one of those people who just doesn't read one book at a time I read about ten well with this one it's Marilyn I like to read it a little bit at a time so I can digest the information um, in a Blighton is one story a night. The Ark Files is a novel I am trying to read, and I've, I've just started this one because I had to, I pulled this off the TBR jar last week, last month, and I haven't done anything with it. So yeah, and then I've got another two books ready to read after I finish one of those, probably Bad Brides, uh, The Seven Streets of Liverpool, As No Flakes on Silver Cove. Now I know this one won't take me long to read. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this video together and put it up for you because this is Vlogmas Day 5. Tomorrow is Day 6 and I will update you on my reading. Um, lots to do again tomorrow. I've got uh, some listings to do. Um, basically I want to get them all ready so I just can put them live. When I go, I'm going to go down to my mum's at some point and take photographs. I've got stuff there. I might pop down to Jane's Free Fest to see if there's any clothing still there. It'll only take me a minute and it'll do me good to have a walk. If I've got any time other than that before I go to my mum's, I will carry on filming my videos, my my wrap-up videos of colouring and my wrap-up for my reading. That just means that the books can go away that I've read and the ones I'm keeping can be put up on their shelves. So I'm going to crack on and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>